Hello class, hope you are doing well. Uh, after a long break, I decided to prepare some video presentations and share them with you so that we can complete our course remotely during COVID-19 period. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you about the best hydraulic cross section, which is also known as the most efficient section. I presented an introduction to the topic, uh, a session before and just after quiz one, and now I'm going to accomplish the first section of this topic in a short video. I think uh, we will have two or three more sessions to accomplish the best hydraulic section part of chapter 9. Okay, uh, let's start with the materials that your textbook presented. As you see here, a channel can have many shapes and dimensions. However, certain type of channel are better to convey or better at conveying flows than the others. Here you see the term better channel and the term conway. And in this presentation, we will get, we will realize the definition of better channel or what why we say sometimes the best cross-section or best channel. Just keep in mind that when we talk about the best or the most efficient channel, it shows a signal about the cost and uh, the expenses of money that you pay for construction channel. I will provide more details about these two terms, the best and the most economic ones during this video, but let's continue with the example which tries to uh, clear the problem before going to its definition. Here you see the following channels have the same amount of excavation or the same cross-sectional area, all should be equal to 2, to multiply by one equals to two, this cross sectional area equals to, and also here cross sectional area equals to two. Therefore, the amount of excavation is the same in all those three cross sections. Here, excavation shows the amount of cost or money you should pay for the construction of this cross section, as well as the same monings and bed slope. Examples say that assume you pay same amount of money for lining of those section sides and bed slope and bed or bottom of the channel. Therefore, you have the same money. Assume all have uh, completed with concrete, therefore money roughness, which symbolizes the uh, resistance of the channel to the flow is constant. And also bed slope, which uh, is slope between two points. For example, if you are going to convey water from here to here, and you are going to have a constant slope, this is called bed slope and is constant in these three cross section. Now the question is, which channel is the best? Hydraulic what do you think about this? I remember that some students selected this one, some this one. But to be able to answer to such question, we should come back to the definition of discharge and definition of the velocity when we have uniform flow. If you remember, when we have uniform flow, uh, we had moneying formula to calculate velocity. This is another form of moneying equation, uh, which just we uh, multiplied A by V. 
v in morning is you remember v equals to 1 over n r to the power of 2 third and s to the power of 1 by 2 so here just we replace the uh, term r hydraulic depth with its uh, basic definition of a over p and then multiply the velocity with a the result is this equation so we have q or discharge in all these three sections equal to a to the power of 5 third multiplied by a square root of med slope over one in roughness times p to the power of 2 third p here is a weathered parameter you see that all in all these cross sections surface area is constant and the assumption was that we made these three channels with the same bed slope therefore s is constant and n is constant here the equation the problem says the money roughness is constant therefore if we uh, replace all these constant terms with the parameter k we will see that q is a adversely proportional with the weighted parameter or you can say q equals to k over p to the power of 2 third which means q is adversely proportional with weighted parameter therefore in order to have a maximum discharge in order to have a greater discharge we should minimize the value of p or if we have three different channels we have to check which of them provides the minimum or the lower value of weather parameter therefore the discharge which can be conway within that channel should be the maximum so weather parameter is the summation of sides and bed slope here where the parameter equals to full here you should sum these three sides which gives you 4.24 and in this cross section weighted parameter equals to 8.5 which is 4 plus 4 plus 4.5 8.5 now I think you can guess which of these section is better than the other here better means the cross section which convey more discharge yes you are right this one is better because this cross section or this shape creates the less weighted parameter therefore in this slide i want to get a conclusion that if you are going to increase discharge you should minimize the weighted parameter therefore to minimize the weighted parameter you should take the derivative of the discharge with respect to the y or we can say that to have the, mo the most economic or the best hydraulic cross section differentiation of p or with respect to y which should be zero del p over del y equals to zero here you see that this uh, expression says that weighted parameter varies with y here you see that in this cross section weighted parameter significantly varies with y but the variation of weighted parameter here with y is the minimum one therefore this is the best cross section let's compare these uh, three cross section numerically we know that q equals to k to the power of k over p to the power of two thirds and we know the k is the multiplication of a to the power of 5 over 3 to the square root of s divided by n 
here with respect to this information of this ca uh, channel we can calculate QA equals to 0.4 K 0.38 K for the B and Q equals to 0.24 for the, the last cross section if you compare the uh, coefficient coefficient of K here you see the coefficient of K is 1 over P to the power of 2 third therefore here let's 1 over to the power of 1 over P to the power of 2 third equals to 0 0.39 which is the higher than the others therefore this cross section provides the maximum discharge for the same area with the same slope and with the same cross section the reason logically behind the minimization of the wetted parameter in order to get the best hydraulic section is the uh, excavation and from the other side is the concept of friction if we have a longer if we have longer like this longer wetted parameter you will see that we the friction or the wetted parameter with it will, incre it will increase this means that the part of the channel which resists again flow is higher in this section with, uh, comparing these two others or here also the wetted parameter is higher therefore friction loss is higher therefore conveying discharge will be less therefore I can say that when we say that what is the best hydraulic section the best hydraulic section is the one in which we can carry the maximum discharge with the lower construction cost here lower construction cost cost means the lower wetted parameter why wetted parameter because if you have like a uh, higher length of wetted parameter you should uh, do more lining yes for example for example here if the lining is a concrete and uh, for one meter of this channel with such cross section you should multiply one meter with four meter therefore you will have four square meter lining however here you will have 8.5 square meter lining and generally lining is uh, one of the uh, one of the most uh, expensive part of the canal, uh, canal construction therefore by minimizing the lining lengths you minimize the construction cost which is consequently means the best or the most efficient channel in this slide we are going to uh, do some calculations to find what is the best or the most economical rectangular channel okay here we have a re common rectangular channel with a bed slow uh, with a bed weed or so the same top feed of B and water depths of Y therefore we can say that cross-sectional area for this channel equals to B times Y and this is constant actually I am looking for a relation between B and Y in which Q is maximum or in which construction cost is minimum when I said construction cost I uh, expose that you think about lining and wetted parameter therefore for a constant area I am looking 
for a constant area like equals to by i am looking for a relation between b and y which gives me the minimum weighted parameter okay from here i can know that b equals to a over y yes area is b times y therefore b equals over y so how can i calculate weighted parameter easily by summing these three sides yes therefore weighted parameter equals to 2y plus b yes and from here i know that b equals to a over y therefore i can say that p weighted parameter equals to 2y plus a over y you can ask oh why we have to replace b with this a over y the answer is easy and this is why we are going to minimize ps and from your calculus knowledge you know that when you are going to minimize function you should take derivative and the differentiation with respect to the varying parameters should be equal to zero if you if you consider b here and y here you should take differentiation with respect to two different parameters i mean you should say uh, for example round p over round y equals to zero by round i mean del uh, del p over del y equals to zero and del p over del b equals zero therefore you should go to this solve two different equation but he, this is very uh, useful and can help us to simplify the problem of differentiation because we know that a is constant a is always constant what if you uh, decrease the value of b you are going to increase y and vice versa therefore a is constant and when you write p as a function of y and a and you consider you can consider a is a constant like it like two three four something is constant and so uh taking the derivative or differentiation will be easier now uh, we know that weighted parameter for any rectangular channel or any rectangular cross section equals to 2y plus a over y i'm going to minimize the p I should now the p is the only parameter of one function y therefore instead of del p over del y i can use dp over dy and it should be equal to zero okay let's take derivative of this function 2y derivative should be 2 and a is a constant therefore you can consider uh, something like 1 over y it's the derivative equals with respect to y it's equals to minus one over y square and if you multiply those constant the entire differentiation is dp over dy equals to two minus a over y square which equals to zero or which must be zero from here you can say that a over y square equals to two and we know that a is a b times y again from here b times y over y square equals to 2 easily you can cancel out this y with the exponent 2 or say that b over y equals to 2 or b equals to 2y therefore we can get this conclusion when the bottom width is 2 times greater than water depths this cross section is the most economical cross section for rectangular channels from here uh, with respect to the definition of weighted parameter we can also find value of the weighted parameter for the best cross section so when b equals to 2y you can replace b equals to 2y here in the weighted parameter therefore p should be 2y plus 2y and consequently you will see that weighted parameter is this and this side 
equals to 4y or weighted parameter equals 4 times of the flow depths in best economical cross section. Okay, now let's continue the best hydraulic cross section with focus on the rectangular cross section with the question. Question one says, determine hydraulic radius in the most efficient rectangular cross section. It is an easy question, yes. How we can solve it? Generally, we know that hydraulic radius equals to A over P. Yes. And when the, the question is about the best or most efficient rectangular cross section from previous slide, we can say that from here, we can say that A equals to BY and we can say that B is 2Y, therefore A equals to 2Y times Y, therefore A equals to what? A equals to 2Y squared. And in previous example, we saw that for the most effective rectangular cross section, weighted parameter always equals to 4y. Again, if you cancel out this power with y, what is the remaining? And you can cancel out these two with 4. Actually, you will have 2 here and y here. And therefore, hydraulic radius in the best hydraulic cross section always equals to the half of equals to half of the water depths this is an important uh, point here you see that hydraulic radius of the best cross section is not a function of bottom width it is only a function of water depths now with this uh, knowledge, I think you can go to the second question from your textbook, page 90, and solve this question. Please try to solve this question, and in case of any question, you can make a contact with me via email to ask a question. Okay, dear students, that's all for the first section of Hydraulics, uh, best hydraulic cross section. I will provide the next movie soon in order to discuss the best hydraulic section for other channel shapes like trapezoidal or tri triangle cross sections. Have a good day.